Hello everybody, Siki the Kidera, welcome back to even more Ace Attorney. Last episode, we checked in with Will Powers, our defendant for this case. He is our client, we are to defend him, it is the third time, and you know, at first, he looked scary. We thought he was the murderer. We thought he committed more murder. But then we realized he was the big softy with a scary face. A scary face that apparently looks older than anyone else besides old back. No, seriously, he looks like the oldest person, but he's actually the youngest if you don't count Maya. Because he's 23! Remember what Power said? She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence! What? Uh, what's your evidence, Dad? Kind of evidence. Well, that her photo. That photo of the steel samurai heading towards the crime. The scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See that camera up on the gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever somebody walks by that, the camera automatically snaps a photo of him. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence. We're finished. Funny, for someone who has hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Oh ho 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 ho! I'm sorry, I needed a drink there. So you guys can forgive me. I get really thirsty doing voices. That's why I'm not going to be doing any voices for this episode. My throat really hurts. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Ha ha ha! I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We've got a free pass to the place. Now's a chance to check things out. Why does Larry call us Nick, anyway? So we got to go back to the main gate, and this is basically where... The audio, where, where I found out that the audio broke on me when I last recorded this, I actually recorded a little bit more the first the first time around. Are you satisfied with Powers' guilt yet? No, she had to make my life harder by giving me that photo detective gumshoe. Um, it was once I got to the employee area, I decided to record for a little bit longer. Then I checked and I realized that I had no footage. Well, no odd, no, you know, vo vocal audio. Global Studios, Ploy Area. Nick! This is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look! There's Powers' dressing room. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Okay, let's see. Um, the trash can. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh. It's so normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. Wait, look! Samurai soda. Nick, try this. Ladies first. So, wait, that's in the trash can. I'm kidding, it's not a machine. Window! A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. There's a sign by the dressing room door. Will Powers. It must be neat for to be a star and have your own room like this. Whew. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to yawn there. I've had a long day, guys. Believe it or not. I've actually just got out of work. So I'm really tired. <laughs> the remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates minus the steak. Mmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. We just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? That's like when my sister said to me, I have a second stomach for ice cream, because we had ice cream. She was like, five, I think. And this late, and Maya's almost a teen. The metal grate on the drain has, here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain a kid could fit through there, I bet. Yeah, if you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right. Huh? Hey, I'm not a kid. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. It looks like a castle. Probably neo old Tokyo castle. Really? No input from Maya? Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? 
It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? Wait, if it's a motor-powered bike, wouldn't that mean it's just a motorcycle? Got it. There we go. Found the button. Let's go. The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick. Let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something as a souvenir. What do you mean, find? You never know. There might be something like the samurai spear. You don't need a spear. And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud. Wouldn't it be good if we can analyze it? Oh, there's a giant gate here. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick. You know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? I'm pretty sure we can now move into the dressing room. There we go. Nice. I'm pretty sure you gotta check the gate first. Dressing room. Powers' his dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth, for his sake. Let's take a look around. So, this window. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it's kind of dusty outside. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. This must be his own clothes. It'd be funny to wear one of those costumes. I'd say you're already wearing one myself. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a spe separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? Where are they even hidden in her feet? Hmm, this must be Powers' bag. Is that how you're supposed to say Powers'? Because I'm pretty sure it's like that problem with Ness's. Like, at the beginning of Earthbound, Ness's house, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be just apostrophe, not apostrophe S. Hey, don't open that. Look! An employee car key. That must be Powers'. Once again, I'm pretty sure it's just apostrophe. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it, you mean borrow. Nice. What's this? Mannequin head. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Ooh! This is the wig he used in the Samurai Boogie Woogie. <laughs> Try this on. No. And how can you tell the name of the show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kinda like Samurai movies. Kinda! Practically addicted girl! I wonder what else is inside Powers' of the bag. Stop that! My partner, the thief in training. I wonder. I know about Kay Faraday in the Miles Edgeworth investigations. I've actually played through the entirety of investigations in my spare time while I was playing this for the channel. Um, just yesterday, I beat the game, the first one, where I'm not going to lead any spoilers, but there's a character named Kay Faraday who is a thief in training, and she calls herself the Yadagarasu. And I'm just wondering, I wonder if this was um, inspiration for that. You know, having a partner who's a thief, because Phoenix calls her a thief. They always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. You see, my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. I thought you were going to shave your head bald after, you know, Miss May, I believe. Yeah, her name was Miss May. Come on, it was last week. So, we go. No, no, not the. Ba, 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 ba. I'm sorry, I'm using a pro controller right now. So, let's go to Outside Studio 1. Oh. Isn't that a studio? Okay. Isn't that a studio car key? Like I said, this is all brand new territory for me now, so I have no clue what I'm doing. You better watch it! The scene of a murder is no place for sightseeing. I'll be taking that. Hand it over. Wait! No, that's mine. Look, I don't have a car key to the studio. See? I want to go pay my respects to Jack Hammer where he died. Well, you'll just have to wait. Okay. Uh, let's move to the uh, detention center. See if I can talk to Powers. Detention center, visitor's room. Apparently they have misprised for questioning. Right. Look, pal. The camera takes a picture automatically whenever someone walks by. 
He's like a picture of Will Powers. I have to ask him about that photograph. Oh well. Let's try again later. Okay. Um. I'd say let's talk to Kumshu, I guess. Um. Hey, just have to take a look at this. What's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't show him that. He'll confiscate it. Aw. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um. I never investigated this place yet. I just realized that. I was too busy talking to Gumshoe. I'm a little bushed. Maybe we'll take a short rest here. Hey, good idea, pal. Detective, are you on the case? Well, yeah, but. Hey, us detectives are tired of sitting around too, pal. Um. Welcome! There's a big sign above the path. Yeah, apparently it's, the zoo is falling on tough times. They started letting people in on days they aren't filming. They make a bit of extra money charging for admission. Huh, you sure know a lot about this place, detective. You know, you could always quit being a detective and work here. Yeah, and we're perfect timing with the studio mascot down for the count. Huh, just what is that supposed to mean, pal? <laughs> hey, there's a camera here. That's a security camera. It takes photographs of people going to the studio. All I have to do is, at the day, is look at the day and you can see who and where. There's a number plate on the camera. ST1307. That must be the camera ID number. The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. What kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sun in his hand. Right? The studio one left the studio too. What's up with that thing? It looks kinda busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. It took that tree down with it, too. Oh, so I can't... Oh, a hand. Dead to gum shoe. What's down the path to the left? It looks like a tree fell down on the path. Oh, yeah. The way is kind of dangerous. You should stay up, pal. There's nothing down there, anyway. That's where Studio 2 used to be, they tell me. They don't use it now, though. Okay, can I check the body? Oh, okay. Studio 1. The entrance to Studio 1. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this car can be bought. Oh, I was supposed to do that. It opens. All right, we're in. Um, before I move to Insect Studio One, I want to go back to the main gate and start investigating. Uh, no, not present. No, not talk. Well, wait, did you do this? Why did you tell us with the uh, security photo, ma'am? Mm, oh, that. I just thought it'd be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left, here's the gate. The camera took that photo. It's my job to check it every day. The guard station is a, is in a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass my station first. Now, poor Hammer, you went to the studio just before 1 a.m. I mean, 1. The murder happened around 2.30, see? I'm sorry, I don't know if it's a.m. or p.m. I'm sorry. The only one I seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. He's not the one who did it. I don't know who is. Maybe it was you. Ha ha ha! Good one, Sonny! She thinks I was joking. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense. Oh yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. What's with all the samurais? He's shown the brightest back in the day, making a star that can play the evil magistrate. It's a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. I can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it recorded the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over at the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. Oh, so if... Say, we were to... Check the van! Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. There's a tree here. The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey! No touching! The security guard station. 
That security lady must have liked junk food. There's a mountain of it on the desk in here. Wait to the computer that runs the security cameras. Wham. So I guess let's move to outside Studio One and then move to Studio One. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't give you the shivers, Nick. That white tape, it's so surreal. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Okay, let's check the body. They outline where Jackhammer's body lied with tape. His body was still found as the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected the spear stabbing would leave a f at least a few bloodstains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Yeah, wait, wouldn't the bloodstains mean that this place happened in a different area? I mean, I'm no forensic expert, but there's nothing. Hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. I always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone, a real life megaphone. Ready, Nick? Action! This girl is more trouble than I thought. That's rude, Phoenix. What's this? That's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Huh. What? There's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment. Well, lighting is fine, but I wanted to be the director. Or maybe the Steel Samurai. I think she's being serious. A ladder. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry. This girl is out there. You've known her for a month, Nick. How do you not know all this information yet? Wow, look at the camera. This cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Hey, you! Don't touch that! Who's this? Uh, um, sorry, my partner's kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know. Um, who are you? Me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but dude, you can't for WP, okay? You never heard a fly. What's with that pose? He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. Well, I guess we can talk to her. Can you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Wait, did she ever introduce us to Penny yet? I was the only assistant on staff that day. Only one assistant. Actually, I'm curious now, how old is this, uh, person? I can believe it. <laughs> yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. It seems like the fe uh, Ace Attorney characters have the opposite effect uh, as anime characters, where the anime characters that look to be, like, teenage and such are actually, like, I don't know, 13 years old. These characters look a little bit younger than what their ages are. I would say she looks 16. But no, she's 18. I guess there's not really a big difference in the look of an 18-year-old to the look of a 16-year-old. Though, I guess I wouldn't really mind much since I don't really like looking at people. And yesterday was the only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's totally him breaking the spear. So how did the spear become a weapon? Unless it was only that top point. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the film area. Oh, there's Old Bag, there's uh, Hammer, and there's Will. WP and Hammer were there along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. Oh, wow! That's cool. Looks like these guys got along well. They look like friends, personally, with this picture. Also, that guy looks like he has Edgeworth's hairstyle, too. To be honest. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. 
but I didn't see either of them after that. Okay, Will Powers. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private. What kind of a girl do you think I am? What kind? No, no, I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. So much for getting confirmation about Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP is the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have the photograph. Mmm. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue. A lead. Well, I don't know about that. But later today, some afternoon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Someone other than the studio employees, maybe. No, I don't think so. The only one we had scheduled was the action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? Well, wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't the security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helped us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on Spock. Blah. But first, it's up. So you sent someone other than the regular film crew that was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think they didn't cut it into the witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? Someone else came into the studio. She must have seen them. Her spidey sense is tingling, guys. Now we can go on for a little bit longer. That always happens. No. Sorry, Gumshoe. You're an awesome character, but I have to leave you. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. I'm looking at you, lady, so I'm kind of close. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the est estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through the here between these times? But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Alright, you better tell me anything quick, you spidey hair cretin! Someone's complaining about the work you do, eh? Uh-oh. We were just talking to the assistant to your one. Her! She's not even a full-time employee! All you youngins are like that nowadays, running your mouth like there was no tomorrow. Saying... <laughs> she left. Well, Dick. What's a chance we could do without her looking over our shoulders? My god, we drove her so chatty, she exploded away. The computer, that one's security Maybe we could see the photo. Should I try the computer? Try it. Let's hack! One AM. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Of course! That is so obviously powers! Photo number two? What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day. Nope, that's the only one on the computer. Hey, Nick, can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah, we'll put that security leader in a place with this. Right, we'll put her in a place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand at the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could even be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for the day? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Hold it, I want to know something real quick. What do we have? We have the guide map. We have the autopsy report. We have the card key and we have the powers' question mark photo. Which is photo number two, which is weird. Even the characters revealed, you know, said the same thing. Where there should be more photo data. Anyways, 
um, we're gonna get to this point, and we're gonna say, I will see you all next time for even more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little tired. That's why my speech is starting to somewhat slur a little bit, and why my tone is starting to drastically shift. Also, like I said, I'm not feeling the best right now, but I do want to get these videos out for you guys, because I know you like them. At least those who do watch them. I know I'm not a big shot YouTuber yet, but it doesn't really matter to me. I'm glad that I can at least entertain the few that do watch these videos. So honestly, you guys' support means a lot to me, and I'm very happy that you guys are here. I'm not going to be like one of those guys that say subscribe for more, like the video. I don't really care. You don't need to like the video. You don't need to leave a comment. You don't even need to subscribe. I'm just happy that you guys would be willing to watch these videos. And yeah, I'm not the best at these games, but I'm not the worst either. Actually, I may be the worst, but hey, at the very least, if you guys watch it and you like it, that's alright with me. That's what I like to hear, and what I like to do. Make stuff people like. So, without further ado, let us end off this video, and I will see you all next time. My god, I'm getting tired. See you all next time.